Hurricane Erin is now a Category 4 storm. Here's my favourite weatherman. Tell us what's going on, Brian. Winds were at 145 miles per hour sustained. Uh, so the gusts are even higher. Center to the north, they will grow in size. Erin's already affecting flights. KLM flight 789 heading to St. Martin from Amsterdam was forced to turn around in the middle of the Atlantic this morning. A mate of mine is on board. She says... Passengers are pretty vexed after the captain told them they couldn't land in SXM due to thunderstorms. And while passenger planes are avoiding Erin, others are flying straight into it. I tracked two low-flying aircraft over St. Martin earlier, the US Air Force Weatherbird and NOAA's Orion Research Plane. These planes are called Hurricane Hunters and they fly directly into the storm to collect real-time data for forecasts. Here's one of the people that fly on that plane. Is it's sort of like riding a roller coaster through a car wash because you can't see anything out the windows in the eye wall. It's, it's just like a car wash. Reports of travel disruptions throughout the region, so make sure you're staying up to date. Winner has cancelled all flights in St. Martin today. But SXM's Princess Juliana Airport is open. In the BVO's Terence B. Letterson Airport reopened this morning and the Associated Press reports the US Coast Guard has closed six seaports in Puerto Rico and two in the US Virgin Islands. Make sure you check your airlines or your airport's websites for the latest travel updates and follow official weather advisories and most of all, stay safe. That was your Caribbean News update for the Breadfruit News with me, Jenny Steele, in my car.